Hello friends, in a video series, so I am making video on right how you will get J1 or J2 visa waiver in the USA, right? So I am making free job video. So this is the third video and third scenario since I told you in earlier video, so there are three scenario uh, in which you can apply a waiver in USA, right? So this will be the overview for this video so like a first stage you can see the know-how and flow chart of the process stages then stage one stage two stage three as i told you in my previous video there are three stage so i will explain each stage uh, one by one right so so these are the some know-how about this you know waiver two-year home country physical presence requirement waiver process right so there are some information right as you can read here right this list if you have a j1 visa or j2 dependent visa with this term and condition and this will be likely printed on your uh, visa page on your passport so it means you have to you know after finishing this visa you have to spend two years in your home country right in india since you are from india right and uh, let's say and there are some example let's say if you, if you can see let's say if you are left us in december 2011 uh, and returned to india for one year and you stayed there for a year right and then you found a job in third country uh, for example like uh, germany right and you are working there for more than two years and then again you want to get uh you know waiver so practically you are still not you know uh, valid because you have spent only one year though you are three out um, from usa for three years but you have spent only one year in india so you have to stay another one year in india right and this should not be continuous it's like it's a breaking you can uh you know let's say stay for one month and then again to come back to germany and then again you stay for another 11 months whatever it is right uh right and also mm, kindly note that you know this is required only for if you want to return usa on work visa or work eligible visa like h1b or l1 l2 whatever it is right so and uh so there are another few rules and you can read that and uh, also this only effect application for work visa i told you in it, it does not apply to social or business budget like b1 or b2 visa or if you want to come back to return back to in usa for a study then you will get f student visa so then in that condition also uh this waiver is not required but kindly note that after finishing your education again you need to be uh get waiver to get a job in usa right so now you can understand how you know important this document is right so um, see here there are three scenario you can get uh, you know waiver thing like if you are still staying in usa and you want to do the waiver process you can do that second scenario like uh, let's say you have returned to india and then you are applying from india so this is the process and third is the that i'm going to tell you uh, about the third scenario like applicant who are staying in third country neither usa nor india then how they will apply right so this is the three scenario i told you and these are the steps like these steps are common for all scenario like stage one stage two and stage three so in stage one kindly note that this video is only for the applicant who are stay, uh, staying in third country right so attestation of nori documents so first you have to you know uh download these biodata and affidavit time you know inform you know page from the website of ministry of external affair though these information templates are available on each you know high come indian high commission in usa website but i would suggest go to the you know this main ministry of external affair website and download it so i have provided this link you can see here for biodata and affidavit you can download from them they are down directly and print it at like a four copy or you know, just type it on the page or on pdf files and then take print out let's say candidate who are applying from the third country you have to get notarized of the first of your four copy of biodata and affidavit from the public notary in that country and then attested by the relevant indian consulate or embassy means let's say if you are staying in germany then you have to find that okay where is your indian embassy like a first take uh, fill the form the, the 
print it in four copy and get notarized for all four copies of biodata and affidavit and then send it to the indian high commission in your country uh, for attestation and uh, documents you have to provide to the indian high commission all right you can see here copy your passport page then j1 visa whatever stamps were there in your passport and your education certificates and the uh, j1 uh, miscellaneous form you have to you know fill that also so you can download it from the indian embassy website right and the pay attestation fee so you have to check the you know with your local embassy what is the amount you have to pay in your local currency right when the local embassy will return one copy of your biodata and epitavit each and and they will return three copy uh to you right for for the process stage two so after getting attestation of your biodata and epidavit three copies then you have to take clearance for nori in india in stage two so there are three uh, office you have to take uh, no objection from a uh, clear or clearance from these three office right so from the ministry of higher education and kindly note that this is not for the health professional help for health professional there's another you know it's like a you have to take nori from the other department uh right so this the ministry of um, human research uh, higher education department is only valid for the non-health professionals and then uh noc from the regional passport office uh, and right this you have to apply offline and then again home department of your state right or if you are belong to the union territory then you have to find the ad you know address and you have to send the documents so ministry of mhrd right here since they are recently they have changed the website right and earl also so i have provided this link uh nori samarth so you can go to the and make your you know register yourself you make account and then you have to provide these documents for no uh, you know clearance from mhrd cover later no, and i told you like a the notarized or attested copy of biodata and epidavit uh, you receive from the your local high indian high commission so you just take a make a scan can of each uh, each one and then upload it then passport and visa and ts2019 forms and any certificates education academic certificates right up to 10 plus 2 and the proof of current address so kindly note that this uh, address you must match with your you have provided in your biodata and epidavit right so make ensure that where you are, wherever you are staying in your third country you should not change the address till you get waiver process right otherwise it will be uh delay right major delay because of that so you have to provide the you know proof like a bank statement or um, or credit card statement or let's say any lease agreement right then what will happen uh these applications are reviewed monthly from mhrd and expected time eight to ten weeks and then after you know getting clearance so they will provide confirmation later directly in your email and as well as the you know you can download it from your uh you know login ad through the login id and password from the website right and then in a second uh you can see the you uh, and kindly note that to save time do this all parallelly not like uh, after you get first you get mhrd then you will send to the passport or home department do this all parallelly three you have to take clearance from the regional passport office right in india same documents you have to provide what you had provided in your mhrd but uh, since it's offline so you have to send these documents uh, through a speed post right so and that not kindly note that notarized biodata epidavit should be original one right one copy each those right and then uh this is the since i told you uh, there is uh, one cover letter is required so you can provide this cover letter so this cover letter is, is like a same for the all you can use same template for rpo mhrd or home department you need to only change the mhr here address to mh uh, you have to check the address modify it or you can also use by your own <laughs> right and also you there are lot of you know um, blocks are available in online you can check with them right so this is the how you will get the your regional passport office address so i have provided you this screenshot so currently i got it in on the website of ministry of external affairs passport office you can see in india so 
i have given you this link you can go directly to them and download you know so this is the process once you will con let's say your ad city is uh, you know address is nearby ahmedabad you can go to this click on ahmedabad here and then you will get this so according to your city or place you have to choose your regional passport office and you can use the address so i will suggest rpo of uh, once they will receive the your document for clearance so they will provide you know forward it to the clerk for assignment and after they will provide a temporary reference number for the themselves and they will send one letter for verification to your home address right in india like uh, they they send they will send you know care later to your local police station so i will suggest once you have sent these things and you found that okay uh go to the visit visit to the your local passport center and once you get clarification from color that okay yeah they have sent to the police station so i'll be check with police your local police station and once they will receive it so right so they will ask your parent to provide one happy david court happy david right as well as the sometimes they will ask additional document like aadhar card your aadhar card your ration card driving license whatever it is right to prove your permanent residence right and so once the police will send the in their uh, confirmation to the regional passport office then regional passport office will uh, issue clearance right to uh, no objection clearance uh, and they will send it to your email as well as they will forward it for to the your indian high commission where you had get attested of your documents the expected processing time it requires 8 to 12 weeks now from the clearance from the home department right same document you have to send offline right as you had sent to the passport office so you have to make two different packet right one for regional passport office one for home department of state so similarly they will do the same thing like a home department will send letter to your university where you got last degree like a phd from university as well as your you know local cid uh, of your permanent home address or they, sometimes they send it to the dm office right a uh, local dm office so they will contact your parents and they will ask some document like a, they will tell you everything okay to need these things to get clearance right so you have to provide them and this is very you know you have to be patient because it's a very long process it takes you know i can, can see three to four months right and once they will receive the clearance from the your cid or district magistrate office so home department will send the no objection certificate directly to the indian high commission uh, from where you had attached attested your document uh, affidavit and biodata as well as they will sometimes they will send you the um, hard copy in your address or you can they will send you the email you will receive from the passport office as well as the home department you have received these two documents and as well as the clearance from the mhrd then you are ready for stage three final document submission right so final document submission you have to be like a you can see here making sure that you have received clearance from the all three sometimes passport office clearance is not required at this stage let's like say in let's say if you haven't received from passport office it's okay right you can still apply for the third stage so what you have to do first you have to apply j1 visa waiver uh, from us department of state and right so first you have to fill the form uh, then after once you will finish um, submit the form it is called ds3035 then they you one waiver case number specific to you will generate from that website and that and also there will be one pdf copy you have to download it and you have to send that uh, you know printed copy with the supporting documents to the department of state as well as the one cop one page um, which have will have waiver case number to your uh, indian high commission so 3a and 3a apply for waiver of the exchange visitor so this is the website of the u.s department of state i have provided the link as well as the screenshot you can see here you know what you would like to do like a complete an online application or you want to check status what about your create a statement of region right so you can do the whatever the stuffs uh, like on um, this website on with this page ask you have to f do that like a complete the online j visa waiver recommendation application ds3035 i have provided the link on previous page and then mail your waiver application with supporting documents 
and fee payment so u.s department of state needs 120 dollar payment fee right so you have to must submit a check or money order payable to u.s department of state it must include the following okay so on that uh, you know check uh a money order so these things should be there like a waiver case number your full name your date and place of birth right so waiver kindly note that the waiver case number will generate once you will fill the ds3035 right and sub, sub, submit supporting documents so these supporting documents it will be mentioned on that you know field form that okay you need to provide these these, these, these documents you have to provide those documents right so also you need to provide a statement of reason to department of state why you need waiver right so i have provided this one standard template you can use this one or you can use your own they are the following information so how let's say since you are in a third country so it might not be possible for you to get take a money order uh, right from usa so then what you can do you can visit any reputable local bank branch in your third country any uh, you know bank in your con uh, country of residence and request them to issue a draft from their u.s subsidiary because you need to pay money in a uh, u.s dollar right they will issue one draft for you and you have to submit those things you have dependent so they need not to pay any external fee only you have to mention that okay yeah the details of your dependent with which uh, who had a j2 visa status right while you will be filling 3035 these documents so i have provided the what kind of documents they need like uh, they need all your ds2019 uh, copy of passport and then two self address stamped us legal size envelope right and the application fee 120 dollar and if you are sending uh, like uh, there are two methods for sending let's say if you are sending the god through the government postal service then this will be the address if you are sending the private courier service so second address you can use right these are the some information like obtaining u.s legal size you know envelopes sometimes in a country is challenging so right so you can always ask your for, you know you can buy on amazon if it is available on your country and uh, right or you can ask your friend from usa to send to your address then similarly for u.s postal stamp because you need to provide two self-addressed legal you know with stamp envelope right because you will receive your waiver certificate on those envelopes only right so this is the very important thing so again uh you know you can you know let's say if you are staying in usa i would suggest you buy you know like a, around 100 or 120 dollar postal stamps and keep with yourself so that in future you will be requiring to get these things or you can ask you know sometimes i have found that on amazon they sell uh for us postal stamps you can always buy right and uh, what should be the you know amount since uh this is very th you know crucial thing since that you know you will receive one page document of you know waiver certificate or notice right so i will suggest you know fix a uh, fix at least 35 or let's say 45 dollar on each envelope so that your document will you know ship to you be send docs to the indian high commission in your country of current residence for stage three right so since i told you once you will fill 3035 the one case number will generate and then that case number one page uh it will be available on that um, you know um, pdf file and uh, then you need to you know download this nori waiver certificate for uh, and you need to fill this form and you have to send you know again these documents with nori waiver certificate as well as the um, waiver case number page third uh, we call it third party barcode page obtained from the u.s department of state that will be available on the ds3035 so you need to provide these things and you need to send to the same indian high commission where you had attested your document and please remember that they have already kept your one uh, page right biodata and affidavit with themselves so they will always know that okay oh you are sending document to them they will know, know that okay yeah you are the candidates i i haven't applied for from the third country so i don't know whether they do charge for this thing uh third stage i don't know so you have to check with uh, your local indian high commission whether they need money or not mission in your country can will issue and then once they will receive your document indian high commission and they will then you know issue waiver certificate and forward it to the usa indian embassy main embassy of india in washington dc right for the onward transmission and then 
uh, and they will also send you a one copy of uh, you know of the waiver certificate to your address for your it's only for your you know reference purpose you need not to send that document to anywhere because department of state united state only will accept waiver certificate from the embassy of india in washington dc right even though you have sent uh, that certificate manually they will not accept it right okay so this is the waiver certificate uh, indian high commission will generate right uh, this is the set template and then they will forward that document to the washington dc and then was uh, indian embassy and then indian embassy or in washington dc will forward it to the you know department of state right so now this is the like a forward backward you know process third stage so now you can check the you know your status you on the uh, department of state web page right and they will always you know this is the process what i told you so this is the where you can check your waiver uh, status so what whatever document they will receive reverse department of state they will uh, you know show you here let's say if they need any additional document they will ask you okay provide the original document right also one nine passport data page statement of region and other other means let's say if you had like an independent visa um, holder then you need to provide the information and passport copy of them those right and then no objection statement right so this no objection statement also you have to provide and this is this document will directly sent by the your indian embassy in washington dc to the department of state and check these things and uh, once you will they you know they will process your document they will show you the what uh, recommendation they have shared with the u6 right so you can see the timeline i will it is not you know since i had uh, applied on in december 2022 and uh, they sent recommendation on 11th of july right it's like a seven to eight months then this is the how they will process now after sending recommendation they will send you a notice i 797c right and then you you can check the status like a current process in the once they will receive the u6 office will receive from the department of state then department of state will is not responsible for anything now you need to check your status on u6 website so this is the link i have provided the same time some it is it varies so you have to check the current processing time that time it was four weeks uh, you know see on your web page okay this we have received your recommendation from the department of state and we are processing right then after three weeks i your case uh, if they will approve then this will change like this way and after this approval you, you have to wait uh, uh, you know another few weeks to get your hard copy of your waiver process right help envelope pass you know address pass envelope they will send this uh you know letter approval notice i797 to your address using that envelope right so this is how this will be the, your final waiver certificate so kindly note that this information i collected from the publicly available internet sources and it, I will strongly advise you to first verify all the details stages right and then you start your application right you should not rely 100% on the information I have provided sometimes the address as well as the process stage may change right thank you for watching this video I hope uh, this video will help you to get a you know, waiver certificate from the third country yeah thank you very much